Hey guys, um, thank you for tuning in. As you can see, I have literally just got um, my new build delivered to me um, with all the parts. Um, I haven't unboxed anything as of yet. I've literally just taken out of the boxes. Um, the only thing I'm waiting for now is the CPU, which is the Ivy Bridge i7-3770K, uh, which is actually coming tomorrow. Um, so I will be putting most of the system in today, um, other than obviously the CPU cooler and the CPU. Um, just a quick overview of all the parts that I got, if you hadn't already um, seen my previous video. Um, start with the accessories, so down here um, we've just got a few um, SATA 3 cables um, which are braided, um, just for you know going for the black and red theme. So we've got a few of those, um, just some cable ties because I freaking run out of these constantly and I thought just buy two packs it was like 60 pence. Um, down here we have the Seagate Barracuda 1TB, um, this is just to store all of the videos and music and shiz on. Then here we have the... Um, 120 gigabyte Corsair SATA 3 Force series. Um, I've got two of them. What I plan to do is RAID 0 them to make um, a ridiculously fast speed. Uh, the read and writes in this are really good as well. Um, you can just Google it and find out what they are. Um, over here, we've got the Century Mix N uh, NZXT um, fan controller with LEDs that light up on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 um, just for the front of the case um, which is very handy over here we go to the RAM we've got 16 gigabytes of Vengeance Corsair uh, DDR3 RAM um, I did these are sort of more sort of low profile kind of um, but they do run at 1.5 volts um, which I prefer um, just means less heat so we've got that over here this is the baby we've got a 2 gigabyte GDDR5 memory EVGA GeForce GTX 680 super clocked edition which runs at a higher clock speed and high megahertz um, as you can see here, um, looking forward to uh, testing out this. Eventually, in the future, I will be getting one more and running them in SLI. But this, I have heard, will pretty much run any game on max settings on it by itself. Okay, we move on to the power supply, which is pretty one hefty beast. Now, some people might say this is a bit overkill. Um, the reason I got it is because I'm always upgrading, and if I do um, eventually sell my other build, um, which is on eBay, I may post a link to that on this video. Um, the reason being is I can use this for future systems as well, not just this one. Um, so it's the OCZ 1000 watt uh, ZX series. Um, it's 80 plus gold. Um, fully modular. Um, it will do pretty much whatever I want it to do. Um, so yeah, and then over here we come across to the motherboard. Now this is the uh, Z77 Fatality One um, motherboard. Um, it's the professional series, um, which is kind of like the gamer's enthusiast, I guess. Um, I chose this board. It has a few annoying features on it. Um, I haven't even unboxed this yet. I think I'm going to leave that for later on when I actually do the board. Um, basically, it's, it's Gen 3. Um, it means that it's going to fully utilize, uh, utilize sorry, um, the Ivory Bridge board um, CPU when I do get that. So I'm looking forward to um, whacking that into this. Um, then we move over to... We've um, just got some thermal paste here. MX4 is pretty good thermal paste. Um, over here we've just got a standard um, DVD drive, um, nothing special there, I just wanted it all black and plain so that you didn't even notice it was there really. Over here we've just got some LEDs, um, these are really good, if you've never heard of them, um, look them up. Basically this is a strip and as you can see there those four sort of copper um, dots there, it each has a line on every single one and you can cut it to length and it still work. Um, 
can move it around the case wherever you want. Um, it just runs by Molex or um, also another source, which I can't remember how it does run. Um, this runs at a low voltage and it's super, super light. Uh, these are red. Um, moving on here, we've just got the um, N300 wireless PCI express adapter. Um, you don't need to spend any more than £20 in a wireless card, in my opinion, so I've just bought that. Um, then we come over to the cooler. Um, previously, my last build, I had the... Um, what did I have? I had the H20920 um, CPU cooler. This is kind of like stepping up a bit now. Um, we've got the H100 um, Corsair um, with the 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 double rad, um, I'm looking to um, sort of put that in the system see hopefully it can keep up with the temperatures. Now finally, um, the last but not least, um, we've got the Obsidian 650D case. Now I bought this because not only is it pretty um, elegant looking, I haven't taken off the wrappering which I will do eventually, um, I'll do a separate um, sort of unboxing for the main parts of the computer. Um, Basically, this has everything that I need. Um, it is very good looking. It's you know it's got easy uh, opening and you know it's going to provide um, everything that I need. And most importantly, up top it's got plenty of room for that H100 to sit underneath. Um, I may even put two more fans on top as a push pull. Um, but we will see. So thanks for checking out all the stuff t today guys, um, I will be putting it together today and hopefully um, I will be posting another video shortly um, once tomorrow I get that CPU. So thanks for watching guys, please rate, comment and subscribe, if you have any questions please ask and I'll get back to you.